Hello, everybody. My name's Rob, and you're listening to me reading stuff on iTunes or and Podomatic. Why do we say and or and not or and? I kind of like the way that sounds. That just came out. Sorry for the delay in getting this one out here. I've had quite a morning. We've all had quite a week, but you know, it just keeps getting, it just keeps getting better. What can I say? Um, listen up. How the hell are you? Does your stomach hurt? Cause mine has for three weeks straight and it just keeps getting worse. Even if I just eat bananas and saltines, that's not doing me any favors. Nothing, nothing's working for me. That was always my go-to bananas, plain white rice. And what was the other thing I said? Lots of water, saltines, of course. Uh, anyway, I hope you're feeling better than me. How are your kids doing? I don't have any. Remember, huge fan of vasectomies over here. Uh, do you like to eat fish? I do. I even like red lobster and I've been wanting to go for a long time. Um, I'd like to, I'd like for red lobster to sponsor this show. What would you think about that? That'd be a great one. I'm still working on Kleenex. Remember how much, how mad I was at them? What was I even mad at Kleenex for? because I still buy Kleenex with lotion and I love everything about Kleenex. So I'm sorry I was mad at you, Kleenex. I'd like you to come back and sponsor the show. I don't even want your money. I just want to do official commercials. Don't you guys think I'd be good at commercials? I do. Uh, What other questions? Who are you secretly in love with? Just go ahead and publicly tell me on Twitter or Instagram. My handle is R-O-B-Y-N underscore O-N-E-I-L. Do you like doing dishes? I kind of do, to be honest with you. I like doing laundry these days, too. Do you hate the sound of a motorcycle? I do. Do you love the sound of your neighbor sweeping their balcony? I do like that. I think it's sweet. Uh, How does your heart feel? On a scale of 1 to 12, 12 being my heart feels great, let me know your number. Just tweet at me the number of your heart. All right, you guys. Uh, it, it, again, it's hard to come back after last week. I still don't feel comfortable saying really anything, but I did happen to, in Dallas, pick up uh, another C.K. Williams book. This one's called Wait. It came out uh, a little bit before the other one I've read from a lot, called Writers Writing Dying, uh, the poems of C.K. Williams. So um, these are Fer- Ferrer, Strauss, and Giroux. Ferrar, Strauss, and Giroux. It's Ferrer, right? You guys remember I oftentimes end the podcast by saying, uh, keep dying, keep writing it down. Well, that is the last published words of C.K. Williams. So we're back to him. He's won every award there is for poets. Sadly, he passed away about a year ago. And I'm going to be reading um, from the book, Wait. I'm going to be reading the poem called Apes. And in the description of this podcast, you'll find all the information you need in order to go buy this book or check it out at your local library. Let me make sure I've got this publishing company right real quick. Sorry, we're just going to, I'm not going to hit pause or try to be professional. We're just going to do this. Yeah, it's Ferris, Strauss, and Giroux, and it was published, this one in 2010. All right, this one's called Apes. One branch I read of a species of chimpanzees has something like territorial wars. And when the army, I suppose you'd call it, of one tribe prevails and captures an enemy, quote, several males hold a hand or foot of the rival so the victim can be damaged at will. This is so disquieting. If beings with whom we share so many genes can be this cruel, what hope for us? Still, rival, victim, will, Don't such anthropomorphic terms make those simian social political conflicts sound more brutal than they are? The chimps that Catherine and I saw on their island sanctuary in Uganda, we loathed. Unlike the Pacific gorillas in the forest of Bwindi, they fought, dementedly shrieked. The dominant male lorded it over the rest. They were, in all, too much like us. Another island from my recent reading, where Columbus on his last voyage, encountered some Indians who'd greeted him with curiosity and warmth, wrote, before he chained and enslaved them, quote, they don't even know how to kill each other. It's occurred to me I've read enough. At my age, all I'm doing is confirming my sadness. Surely the papers, war, terror, torture, corruption, it's like broken glass in the mind. 
Back when I knew I knew nothing, I read all the time. Poems, novels, philosophy, myth. But I hardly glanced at the news. There was a distance between what could happen and the part of myself I felt with. Now everything's so tight against me I can hardly move. The Analects say people in the Golden Age weren't aware they were governed. They just lived. Could I have passed through my own Golden Age and not even known I was there? Some gold. Nuclear rockets aimed at your head. Racism. Sexism. Contempt for the poor. And there I was reading. What did I learn? Everything. Nothing. Too little. Too much. Just enough to get me here. A long-faced, white-haired ape with a book. Still turning the page. God damn it. Haven't thrown a book on the table in a while, have I? That is so, 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 so good. I mean, it's occurred to me I've read enough. At my age, all I'm doing is confirming my sadness. Thank you, C.K. Williams, wherever you are. Um, fuck. So I want to thank a couple of people. I've got two new five-star reviews. One from John K. Leo. He likes my upbeat spirit. I bet he noticed I didn't have one last week, and I bet he understands. Thank you, John K. Leo. I love you right back. And another one from Rachel from Tennessee. And Rachel from Tennessee, hi, girl, how you doing? I wanted to say uh, this was an interesting review because she gave me a five-star review, but she also asked me what my Enneagram was. Do you guys know about this personality type? Uh, it's kind of a, not a test, but yeah, you, you take a quiz and you figure out what personality type you are. There are nine of them, and I've actually taken this, Rachel from Tennessee, many times throughout the years, and I always kind of land in the same spot, which is I am a number four, which means individualist, and I have a three wing, three being achiever. So, and I think that pretty much nails it. The individualists, their ego fixation is melancholy. Uh huh, got that, check. Um, the kind of problem with individualists is they like need to feel special. <laughs> so, my biggest fear, I think they put it like, I, th the individualist fear is having no significance in life. And that's especially uh, challenging when you have a three wing achiever. Anyway, I hope that is interesting to you, Rachel from Tennessee. Yours is a very sweet one. I like your personality trait better than mine. Um, and also, any of you guys, go ahead and get online, look up Enneagram. I'll put a link there for a free test and let me know what you are, along with how your heart's feeling. And by the way, I'm at 79 five-star reviews. Thanks to all of you guys. So what I'm going to do if you guys don't mind, is set up a contest. I don't think I get all the reviews because some of you in other um, countries, I don't see those here in the States on iTunes. If you leave me a five-star iTunes review, if you're the 80th to do so, and then you reach out privately, give me your address, I will send you a postcard-sized drawing. That's going to be my gift to you. So that's a new contest. Number 80, Wherever you are, whoever you are, you're about to get an original drawing by me for you, specifically for you, because I love you guys. Please don't think I'm not still devastated and angry and sad because I am. I'm not simply moving on, but I am just trying to check in in the only way I know how to do so, which is to talk to you guys about whatever's moving me in what I'm reading right here from my studio, and just thank you guys so much for your support and for reaching out after last week. I think you guys are an incredible group of people. I wish there was a way. We should do a conference. like they, Or what, what do they call those? Convention. Like a rush convention. Like a Star Trek convention. Me reading stuff convention. Let's all meet. Where are we going to meet? I say Omaha, Nebraska. All right, guys. I got to go. I love you so much. I'll talk to you next week. Take good care of yourselves. Look out for one another. Keep dying, keep writing it down.